of evolved in the sport and now racing for you and putting you uh, as probably one of the top teams to uh, be the threat for the championship this year? Yeah, uh, we put that totally behind us. Uh, we talked about it. That was one of the first things we talked about. And that's history. We've both uh, grown a lot. I know I've grown up. I've grown older, but I've grown up too. There's an old song out there. Uh, uh, I'm still uh, still growing up, but I'm getting older. Any additional questions? Okay, we'll go over here. Uh, this one's for Randall. Winning in your home track here in St. Louis. Uh, you know, you're being a St. Louisan, do you have any initial memories of being here at Gateway, like being here in 1997 and winning all the tremendous improvements that Gateway has made the last many years to have this cup race here? Yeah, you know, I was here, um, I was still in St. Louis, living living here when this place, it, it used to be a road course here, uh, and it was part, part of the drag strip was the road course, and um, I actually raced carts on that track, um, you know, a handful of times, and then they built they built this place, and I'd come and watch Indy cars when they would come, any events they would come here. Um, so we always came over for that when I was a kid, and I uh, was fortunate enough to run some shifter carts here on, on this track, through the road course on infield, and, and, and part of the big track. So uh, it, it means a lot to me to come home. You know, I, I moved away from here when I was about 20 years old, and um, moved to Charlotte to, to do what I'm doing right to to go race and and i did some driving down there and and grew up racing go-karts here um you know with my mom and my dad and um off telegraph road at, at woodman raceway park that um you know the st louis karting association my father and and some of them built down there for for us to have a place to even go race so uh to, to come home and, and win here uh it, it means a lot it's, it's a pretty big deal for me any additional questions okay we'll go back to lee Tyler, uh, or, sorry, I'll be all right. I've got something else on my mind. Randall, can you look at just the first, what, 14, 15 races and have an idea or a sense what the potential is for this team? Well, I think we've got a lot of potential. I think we've got a lot to clean up, too, and we talk about it repeatedly. We've we've uh, we've had some really fast cars and taken ourselves out of races, you know, with, with some mistakes and things like that. Me and Kyle and, and our whole group has talked about it, and, and we know we all got to clean it up on our end, especially if we're going to compete for the championship. You know, we we are fast with this uh, intermediate package. Um, we've we've struggled really bad on the short tracks. Uh, haven't got the feel for him of of what he needs in a car on the short track yet. So that's one of our one of our biggest hindrances right now. I would say as a team to to be where we really want to be. Um, but really proud of this this eight bunch. They dig in hard. Great group of guys, great great group of racers, and, and Kyle's fit right in with him. He's uh, he's done a great job of adapting over here and, and blunt, plenty of uh, you know plenty of insight on his side to, to how to make things better as well. So that's we're all working together towards that. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.